What are edibles? Everything's kind of like micro doses. Low and slow, always. <laughs> Go low and get, get high. high. Take, take, X. All right, welcome everyone to this week's episode of Girl Talk. And this week I have a very special guest, dear to my heart, Sarah Hanlon, who you might recognize from Big Brother Canada. But tell all of my viewers a little bit about you and what you're doing now. Oh, okay, so I was on Big Brother Canada, which feels like a dream still. Yeah, because yeah. you won. And I won, yeah. yeah. And now um, I'm freelance writing for a few outlets, writing for Leafly as well. I'm a brand ambassador with them. So this week's episode is Girls Who, and for this week it's Smoke Marijuana. Answer me this, are there a lot of girls representing at the forefront of weed culture? Oh, huge. Really? Absolutely, okay. yeah. So since it's fresh and there are no rules, mm -hmm. it's kind of empowering for women and people of color and queer people to get in there and it's like we can make the rules here. We we don't have to wait right. for things to become like, like oppressive a whole and CEO and like dictate what you do. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, like we're charge. here at the base. Do oh, girls no, get thing. together and socially smoke weed? That's such a huge thing, yes. Okay. And we take photographs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like sell me. <laughs> we get dressed up and we take cool smoke shots. So like when I was in high school and growing up, like weed was consumed through like bongs. Like are people still smoking bongs? Oh, this girl does. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Here's the new thing. This is dabbing. It looks really intense. You take a torch and mm -hmm. heat up either a titanium nail or a glass nail mm -hmm. until it's like glowing red hot. And then you wait for it to cool a little bit, like 30 seconds, which is important. People forget that step. <laughs> yeah, do not burn yourself. Do this not like, do yeah, a crazy problem. hot dab. <laughs> yeah. So wait like 30 seconds and then you take that oil or the concentrate. People call it shatter because it gets so hard that it will actually like shatter. Uh, I feel really old right now. Like you are, you are coming up with like so many terms and telling me so many things that I don't know. And like, I, I thought a dab was this. <laughs> <laughs> are there weed strains that do certain things? Because like as a healthcare provider, I know like, you know, medicinal marijuana will help someone with their appetite. Can you like pick weed for like a fun high or like just to like- Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And like going to the movies or what's best for shop, what's best for going home to Thanksgiving or Christmas, Ooh, right? Yeah. Those type of things. <laughs> Mention this website a lot, Leafly. So you can go onto this website and there's like a search feature. You'll, you'll like see you can... there's different, there's news, reviews. Uh -huh. It's important for people to get the right information and know what they're smoking, right? Exactly. Because if they're going to legalize marijuana, like people need to know what they're buying, like what it's going to do to them and like why, like what and, they're using it for. And that's really the most exciting part about it being legal is that we'll be able to talk about these things and people will have the options to right. like compare and contrast because before you're just smoking what you got you're from just your- You're buying it off the street from right? some drug dealer. From you don't whoever, know. from your friend. <laughs> so how old were you when you first started smoking marijuana? The first time I smoked weed, I was probably like 17 in high school and it was more like casual, like, like you know, when you're with friends. It's like a fun thing. Exactly. So when did that change for you? Like when did you go from it just being like recreational to being like Sarah, the expert on marijuana? Once I graduated and I was trying to go to university, I had a lot of health problems I, with my stomach and it was just really hard for me to cope, not just like physically, but like mm. emotionally with that stress of not feeling great and all that. Right. And I kind of just, it just happened so naturally as I find it does with so many people. Like first you start getting a good night's sleep, yeah. then your eating patterns get a little more normal for me, my stomach started working better and then everything just clicked. And, and did you go through that process with your doctor or was that something you that kind was, of discovered on your own? I, I would talk to my doctors about it and they wouldn't help me in that regard. They would just, and at that point it was, it, there was like a underlying cause that needed to be dealt with, so they were looking right. at that. Right. But because I was so young, they weren't they weren't going to look at and that as an actual yeah. option. A lot of healthcare that. professionals aren't educated on it in, their, the in their training or their schooling, right? And because there hasn't been enough studies, and mm -hmm. studies cost like 500 to a million dollars, even yeah. for just like the small studies. So what really needs to happen is the people who are making money off cannabis, like- Should be funding the studies. So that yeah. doctors feel More better about, exactly. Yeah. Does smoking weed elevate your sex life? Like, is that something that's like it elevates an upper? everything? It elevates everything. Okay, because it, well, it's true. It's smoking weed just makes everything better. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining oh me my this gosh, week. My pleasure. I, I learned so time. much. Thank you so much for watching. You can find all of Sarah's information in the description box below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and we will see you next time on Girl Talk. Bye. Next.